of a way to stay cool. Now getting into the tropics, this is Tropical Storm Debbie bringing impacts to southwest Florida. Now it's out over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, getting itself together. It's expected to strengthen to a hurricane later today before it makes landfall in North Florida by early tomorrow. But heavy rain spreading across uh, Fort Myers down to Marco Island and some gusty winds down into the Keys as well. A uh, wider look at the tropics, not only do we have Debbie, with winds at 60 miles per hour. That's going to be heading into North Florida later today, bringing some big impacts across Florida and the southeast in the coming days. But there's also another area we'll be watching this tropical wave east of the Windward Islands has a low chance for development, but it's expected to move west towards the Caribbean Sea in the coming days, and we'll watch that long term. So the tropics are heating up about what you'd expect for this time of the year as it is August, and that's when things really start to turn busy. Now getting into what's going on with Debbie right now, we are seeing those winds at 60 miles per hour. And as we get into today, it should start to strengthen over the warm Gulf waters. There's low wind shear and that will allow it to really fire up to a category one before it makes landfall in North Florida, somewhere around the Big Bend and then makes that turn toward the northeast towards Georgia and into the Carolinas into the first part of the new work week. So this is what we have now winds at 60 miles per hour, gusting at 65, moving north northwest at 13 miles per hour. This is going to be a significant rain event for Florida and Georgia and the Carolinas. Here it is strengthening to, strengthening to a category one when it makes landfall again in the Big Bend region near to just south of Tallahassee, and that will continue to move off to the northeast and slow down near Georgia and the Carolinas this week, which will bring days of heavy rain and extreme significant flooding as it loses its steering current. That's why it's going to sit out over the southeast US and just park itself there. It may start to drift a little bit west. It could start to move off to the northeast. There's really uncertainty in the forecast with it getting into this work week. So there are hurricane watches for the Big Bend tropical storm warnings and watches all along Florida. Strong winds expected, of course, with this gusting close to 100 miles per hour for parts of Florida. It's Big Bend and Cedar Key early tomorrow. Again, landfall expected early tomorrow. Those strong winds and impacts spreading inland, and it's going to be a big rainmaker. We're talking some significant flooding for parts of Florida and the southeast. No impacts expected here. We don't have to worry about anything in the tropics, just extreme heat with temperatures near 100 degrees.